There is one town here in North Georgia that I get questions about every single week without fail, and that is our golden child, Alpharetta. It is constantly topping charts for best places to live, and locals rave about it. It's currently ranked Niche.com's number one best suburb to live in Georgia the number two best place to live in Georgia, and it was the number two best place to raise a family in Georgia, according to Niche.com. Recently, Alpharetta was selected number nine on Southern Living's The South's Best Cities list for 2023. In fact, they described Alpharetta as, quote, a must experience place, one you'll likely want to relocate to once you get a taste of life here. So we aren't the only ones who think that you will want to consider relocating here. Hi, I'm Sarah Maslowski, a local real estate agent here in the Northeast Metro Atlanta area, and my team and I help people just like you make a move here to Georgia. And I want to to be your agent. You can find my contact information below this video. I'm sure in your research, you have probably heard about Alpharetta, so let's talk about what makes it so great. Alpharetta is located in Northern Fulton County, and it's about 26 miles north of downtown Atlanta with a population of around 67,000 residents. This makes it the perfect town for people who want to live in the suburbs while needing to commute into the city for work. This is one of the biggest reasons a lot of people choose to live here. You you can jump right on Georgia 400 and drive straight down to Atlanta if you work in the city or need to get to the airport. But you don't have to go into the city for work. Alpharetta has plenty of companies and industries based right there, so you might not need to commute anywhere. It has become quite the hub for many tech-based jobs, and we hear from clients all the time that their companies want them to be closer to their main office, which is in Alpharetta. Alpharetta is the perfect mix between city and suburban lifestyle with tons of devoted acres of walking trails, playgrounds, award-winning parks, and outdoor facilities. If you are someone who prioritizes being outdoors, you will love Alpharetta. Alpharetta. As Alpharetta has had significant development over the years, the city has made a priority to incorporate as many sidewalks and paths as possible to keep people connected to all of the different activity centers and parks and community hubs. You have the Alpha Loop, which is a multi-use path looping through Alpharetta, and that connects places like the Big Creek Greenway, which is another big path, connects downtown Alpharetta, Avalon, and the North Point District. District. The first segment of Alpha Loop was completed in 2020, and that connected downtown Alpharetta and Avalon, and they're still working on expanding and adding to it. There's also the Big Creek Greenway, which I just mentioned, and that is an eight mile long, 12 foot wide concrete path that meanders through the woods along Big Creek. People use this daily for walking and jogging and biking. And on a Saturday morning, you can see tons of families out there walking with their dogs or people running on the Greenway. You've also got Wills Park, which has a dog park, pool, 60 acre equestrian show facility, 10 baseball fields, three playgrounds, six tennis courts, and an 18-hole disc golf course. And then, of course, you've got plenty of green space. It is a really magnificent park. There are so many different ways to enjoy being active outside while living in Alpharetta, even though it's a pretty dense suburban area. One thing I personally love about Alpharetta is that the town has 250 shops within a five mile radius and more than 200 dining options as well, meaning there is no shortage of yummy meals or good shopping. I'm sure you've heard me talk about both Halcyon and Avalon, which are both mixed use developments with outdoor shopping and restaurants. One of my favorite places to eat at Avalon is Suprica, which has some pretty amazing Mexican food. I've also recently discovered a place called Local Expedition Woodfire Grill, which is kind of like wood-fired Greek-inspired food, and it is so good, so healthy. There's always a line there, and it's kind of like a quick service restaurant. There are, of course, some awesome restaurants in downtown Alpharetta, like Citizen Soul, which is kind of like upscale and fun. I personally like to try a new place every time I'm in Alpharetta because there are just so many options to choose from, and you really can't 
find most of them in other counts. Another reason residents love living in Alpharetta is the highly rated schools like Alpharetta High School, which is ranked as the number three best public high school in the state on niche.com, and it receives a nine out of 10 rating on greatschools.org. They also have Chattahoochee High School, which also received a nine out of 10 rating on greatschools.org. Since Alpharetta has some of the state's top rated schools and because there are so many of them, well, pretty much anywhere you end up in town, you'll be in a neighborhood with a highly rated school system. This is one of the reasons that it's definitely going to cost you more to live in Alpharetta. Now, when it comes to homes, you can find a whole range of homes in Alpharetta, ranging from swim tennis communities to modern luxury townhouses and apartments. You'll also find several gated country club neighborhoods that have multi-million dollar homes. There are a few really popular neighborhoods in Alpharetta, like Windward, which has about 2,500 homes in it. It's got a ton of subsections in it, so it encompasses a huge part of town. This neighborhood specifically for its own 195 acre neighborhood lake. You've got tons of tennis courts there, pools and a golf club and just about everything. You've also got Seven Oaks, which has more than 600 homes in it and has great amenities as well. There's also a few new construction neighborhoods going in as well with both single family homes and townhouses. Now, if your goal is to have a few acres of land where you can grow a vegetable garden and have a few chickens in the backyard, well, obviously this is going to be pretty tricky to find in Alpharetta, but you can find this in nearby Milton if you can't afford it. Another thing you won't find a lot of, there's not a ton of new construction and when you can find it, it's going to be super expensive. Since Alpharetta is an older town and it's very much developed, there's not a lot of remaining land left to build on, which is why it's going to cost you such a premium. You will find a lot of houses in neighborhoods like Seven Oaks and Windward that have been completely renovated to give you that updated look and feel. Or if you are open to doing the work yourself, there are plenty of older homes that you could renovate to fit what you are looking for. Again, this is going to require a bigger budget, but that's just one of the costs of living in one of Georgia's most popular towns. Now, speaking of the cost, what is it going to put you back to live in Alpharetta? Well, in June of 2023, the average sales price of a single family home in Alpharetta was $799,000. And that is a slight relief from May when it was $866,000. Now, this does not mean that home prices are cheaper or homes are losing their value in the area, but it is more reflective of the actual homes that sold during that time period. There is still plenty of demand for homes in Alpharetta and the average home only lasts five days on the market before it goes under contract. We had someone local comment that Alpharetta was such a great place for people of all ages to live. And they went on to say that properties here are expensive, but well worth the price, as this is a place one can remain for the entirety of their lives. And that is such a great point, and you are definitely going to find that your property will hold its value if it's taken care of well. Alpharetta itself is just such a really pretty town, and it has been really well well taken care of. One of my awesome viewers who lives in Alpharetta once commented, nearly the entire city of Alpharetta looks new and upscale. The city spends a great deal of money on parks, hiking trails, and landscaping. He also mentioned an event that the city put on and said the city of Alpharetta supports events like these that people can enjoy rather than some cities that just take people's tax dollars and waste them on who knows what. I think it's also a really great point and definitely a reason why you might love living in Alpharetta. So what do you think? Are you adding Alpharetta to your list? If you are, I would love to help you with this process. You can find my contact information below this video. And if you would like to catch some more videos on Alpharetta, make sure you check out this. And if you haven't already considered coming, check out the other golden child coming.